been checking out some more old bits of gear at work um, from the old laboratory that's uh, not really used anymore and this is legacy stuff left over from when the company used to make um, oscilloscopes and I found these couple of um, inline boxes which are always very useful for putting bits in um, this one here obviously has never been used and these are great for uh, putting in sort of like uh, high pass filters low pass filters whatever you want really they're quite unique actually they got un these parts are all replaceable these parts will undo from the end I can't do it one handed but no there you go that part is sort of like replaceable so if it wears out you can just replace a new one and I've seen a couple of these kicking around at work I don't know what type of connector that is um, but um, it's like a large SMA but uh, so yeah um, useful little boxes and things uh, this one here has obviously just got a hundred puff um, a thousand puff capacitor in series with the uh, they're basically DC blocking nothing particularly exciting but this particular one here is a bit more interesting now this is uh, had pulsar written on it and I was thinking I wonder if it's a tunnel diode pulsar so I thought well that will be uh, something worth taking home because I haven't tunnel diodes are quite hard to get hold of now and they're very useful for um, testing the rise times of oscilloscopes and it certainly looks like sure enough when I open it up uh, you can't see very clearly but we've got from uh, left to right we've got uh, a pot, uh, a pot for adjusting obviously uh, series resistance probably just like an attenuator we've got these two uh, well, they 1k5s in series that gives you 3k then we've got uh, you can see here like an inductor I think that is that inductor just below the capacitor and there's another capacitor here so if you shoot, oops, sorry. let me just show you so if you'll focus, try and get it to manually focus. No, nope, that's not gonna work. There we go. So that, there's an inductor just there, and this is the capacitor. And lo and behold, that to me, and it's not very clear to see, I know, but I think that is your tunnel diode. And uh, no, try and get it to focus a bit clearer. It's actually very difficult to see, but it's just like a bent piece of plate with a sort of like a semiconductor solder between the two. There you go. I'll try and zoom in a bit, maybe that will help. Okay, anyway, that's it there. That, that, and that, I believe, is a tunnel diode. Uh, I'm not sure, but it certainly seems to... Uh, perform like one and I'll give you a demonstration now so what what the idea of this is is you feed in a a, uh, a ramp signal into the uh, input of this thing and your output goes to your scope uh, and then it will give you a very fast rise time so first of all I'll demonstrate on the tectronics that we've just replaced the battery on I'm going to put a let's put a sine wave in that's that's good enough uh, here's our sine wave, obviously a very slow rise time, it's on the side of the rise time, you'd expect with a sine wave. Um, and the, what I'll do now is I'll connect the uh, pulsar up to the input of the scope. And the Output of the generator goes to the input. Now you have to drive it pretty hard. Now put the signal into the. Uh... Input of the pulsar. And then just adjust my DC offset. And you see we've got a signal there. Now I have to increase our volts per division. Now you'll notice here that. We're, considering I'm feeding a side wave in. I've got a very fast rise time. Uh, and if you look. we got That's a 20 nanoseconds per division. I'll get you out of the. Uh, layer of the, uh, let's turn this light off better, um, so that's a 20, 20 second nanosecond rise time, uh, and we're getting rise times of, oh, what would you say, almost 5 nanoseconds, so that's clearly working, now if I adjust the frequency, all it does is adjust the duty cycle of the pulse, so here's our frequency adjustment, our rise time stays exactly the same, it doesn't matter what I put in, this is a triangular wave, uh, this is a pulse, pulse is probably the best way because you've got really sharp rise time, and then we're getting down to sort of, well, it looks like it's even better actually, no, it's about the same. So, 
that's a really nice find uh, certainly useful for calibrating the scopes uh, I just thought I'd share that with you uh, that's a little pulsar generator I need to have a just about with the uh, pot to see what that actually does to the uh, rise time and, but I'll give it a bit of a clean up and put a new label on it and a uh, nice addition to the uh, workshop infantry I think <laughs>